Man, I'm flattered that you guys think I can give away a graphics card that's equivalent to something that I have in my own system. But I'm not at that point uh, with this channel yet, but hopefully one day. Hey, what's up everyone? Danny here. And as promised, in this video, I'm going to be unboxing this mystery box and reviewing what's inside. So let's grab a knife and get to it. I feel like this is uh, like a potato chip bag or something, you know, it's always like mostly air because here I'll show you what's inside and how it's presented. So there it is, a uh, whole bunch of empty space and this on the inside, this is the Red Dragon Kumara mechanical keyboard and if you've seen my setup before then you already know that I have a Red Dragon gaming mouse and I've been watching this keyboard on Amazon for a long time actually but i never pulled the trigger on it uh because i don't need another mechanical keyboard mine's working fine but for the 5,000 subscriber appreciation i figured this would be the best time to do it so yeah let's get to reviewing this thing shall we the red dragon kumara is a 40 dollar mechanical keyboard that is sold primarily through amazon this is its base price and I have never seen it go on sale but at such a low price for an actual mechanical keyboard and not one of those halfway mechanical feeling memory keyboards, it's a very competitive price. Opening up the box you get the keyboard which comes wrapped in bubble wrap alongside a keycap puller, warranty card, and appreciation card. It's pretty awesome that they included keycap puller as this is priced to be an entry level mechanical keyboard and first time owners likely won't have a keycap puller already. This is a 10 keyless keyboard so if you're a person that needs a number pad then this is not a keyboard for you. It features N key rollover on all the keys, so if you're smashing your fist into the keyboard, then all the keys will register correctly. In terms of the construction, it's hard to say anything too useful. I can throw in descriptions like, it feels sturdy and it's well made, but what does that really mean when it comes to a keyboard that's made out of the same materials as most other keyboards and feels the same right out of the box? Only the test of time will tell if this keyboard is durable, and if it's not, at least there's an 18 month warranty should anything go wrong either mechanically or electronically. When plugged in, it emits a bright red glow. This can be turned fully on, off, or dimmed at various brightnesses in between. There are two foldable feet with rubber end pieces and two rubber pads to keep this keyboard grippy on whatever surface it's on. I was actually surprised by how grippy this felt. I did a test where I tilted the surface it was on and it clung up to around 45 degrees. This is a pretty extreme situation that you likely won't see in real world uses, so this is pretty impressive. Using the puller to remove the keys revealed the double shot injected molded caps and mechanical switches underneath. The nice thing about double shot keycaps is that they won't rub off over time like printed or dyed caps do, since the two different colors are separate pieces of plastic. As for the switches, if you're into that clacky sound, then these switches are for you. Cherry MX Blue and Green mechanical switches are among the loudest, and these are generics that Red Dragon calls custom cherry green like equivalents. This is confusing though because if you look at the switches, they're blue and there's a consensus that these are Altimu blue switches, which has a slightly higher actuation force than cherry blues and provide a slightly more pronounced click sound. I don't know why Red Dragon claims that they're cherry green equivalents. Compared to the blue switch keyboards that I've tried, whether they be my own, in retail stores, at land centers, or even keyboards that my friends own, I'd say that they definitely fall in line as blues. Here's a sound test comparing the Red Dragon Kumara to my Razor Black Widow, which has cherry MX blue switches. Try to notice the more pronounced click sound from the Kumara. I'm not that picky of a typist, so I adapted to the Kumara pretty well. I was able to achieve my average speed of around 100 words per minute. This is the same range that I normally get on my Razor Black Widow, a keyboard that I've owned and used daily for over 4 years, so that was pretty awesome. Overall, in my limited time using this keyboard, I definitely say that this is a solid buy. The lack of the number pad may be a deal breaker for some people, but others may find it a huge benefit. The compact size brings this keyboard in at 14 inches long and just shy of 5 inches wide. This makes it easy to pack up and take as a travel keyboard to replace laptop keyboards because we all know how much those usually suck. 
I would definitely recommend this keyboard if you're in the market for one, especially if it'll be your first one and you don't want to break the bank. Personally, I'm super excited to now have it as part of my setup. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then as always, I appreciate if you can hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, let me know in the comment section below after watching this video review, would you consider buying this keyboard? Why or why not? And if you are thinking about buying it, then hold on just a second because I'm actually going to be giving away one of these um, to thank all of you for helping me reach 5,000 subscribers and beyond. I'm going to be giving one of these away via Gleam.io and the instructions are going to be in the description section below. But basically, if you have a YouTube account or a Twitter or both, then you can enter to win. If you have both, then you have a higher chance of winning because each counts as an entry. This is going to be an international giveaway. So no matter where you are, you can win. But the only thing is that I can only ship the keyboard if you're in the US because I'm going to be doing it via Amazon Prime. I'm going to buy it and I'm going to use it to ship directly to whoever wins if you're located in the US. That doesn't mean you can't win if you're international though. If you're international, what I'm going to be doing, and I've done this in the past before, is I'm going to give you the equivalent of a keyboard in Steam Digital Code. So you'll be getting Steam dollars so you can buy whatever game you want. And the reason for that is because this keyboard costs, you know, $40. And to ship this thing anywhere outside the US, I checked when I tried to ship the gaming mice internationally, uh, it would cost $30 to $40. It just doesn't make sense to me to do that and I don't want to deal with uh, you know customs and taxes and uh, any international shipping laws. So for now until I figure all that out and until my channel grows large enough so that I can afford to do that, um, if you're an international winner you get the equivalent in Steam dollars and if you're a US winner then you get the actual keyboard and sorry about that. Thank you again everyone for making 5,000 possible and good luck to everyone who's entering and I will see you in the next video. Bye.